In this video, we're going to take a look at the very straightforward 18 volt LED spotlight from Ryobi. If you already have a collection of Ryobi 18 volt batteries, this light can be a good consideration. I wouldn't suggest this to be a priority purchase, but one to add to the toolkit when the need arises or if you have an itch to get something new. Let's take a closer look. The light comes in the economical plastic packaging and is available to purchase in both a tool only option or in a combo kit. The light provides over 2,500 lumens of light, which is definitely more powerful than most other light sources, such as your lanterns and flashlights. The light is generated by the seven 3-watt Cree LEDs, which Ryobi claims to project a beam of light up to 700 yards. Operation of the light is pretty simple, by the use of the trigger switch. Notice there are three stages, high beam, low beam, and off. The pistol grip really makes this light most ideal when mobility is needed, in the sense that one prefers to be continuously on the move with such a powerful light. One could also observe that its bulky size may be too large for the casual use. Let's review the options to powering the light. The most common, and perhaps the whole reason this light is even considered, is the application of the 18 volt battery. Runtime will be determined by the capacity of the battery, but Rayobi claims that the light will have a runtime of up to five hours on a four amp hour lithium plus battery. Here's a time lapse of the non-lithium four amp hour battery. Take note that the light is activated with a high beam. So we in turn experience a reduced runtime of approximately two hours and 16 minutes. A feature that adds a bit of uniqueness to the light is the one that allows it to make the claim of being dual powered. With the use of the included 12 volt automotive cord, users have another option to power the light. It's this feature that makes me take pause and not have much appreciation for it. I just don't see myself personally being tethered to such a short cord, connected to a cumbersome light as being very practical, with the exception of law enforcement and search and rescue. The idea of dual power is good, but I think an AC option with a power cord would be more appealing. We can see this combination in a 20 watt LED work light. That's my opinion though. If you have thoughts on the 12 volt option, share them in the comments below. Having mentioned the work light, let me share with you a side-by-side -side comparison. Yes, the lights have their own purposes, but the takeaway is the comparison of the spotlights, 2,500 lumens, compared to the work lights, 2,400. Again, this is done merely because the two lights are available to share. Like other Ryobi tools, the Spotlight does come with a three-year warranty, which got me thinking. I personally have never had to make a claim to Ryobi for warranty coverage. Have you? If so, what was your experience? Now let's take this light into the backyard, giving the big dog the opportunity to stretch his legs. To wrap up this video, I'll give my final thoughts. Is this light for everyone? No, simply because not everyone will have a need for a high powered spotlight. Nearly all spotlights have a larger size and are more cumbersome and serve a specific purpose. If one is in need of a spotlight and already has the 18 volt battery, there is no reason though not to consider the LED spotlight from Ryobi. In general, it has a good build quality and it gets the job done. That will do it for this time around. If the video happened to provide some insight before making a purchase, please take an opportunity to hit the like button. Also, take an opportunity to subscribe to stay informed as new videos are released.
As always, thanks for watching.